Hey everyone, Chris here and welcome back to Estate Agent Simulator. Just collected rent from my tenants and we finally have enough to build our own house. So let's head over here and as I said last time, I think I kind of want to go with the largest house. It's going to take 6 days of construction and cost 105000 but we clearly have more than enough. So let's go ahead and do that. And oh, this looks pretty cool. So it's kind of like the frame of the house. We got the construction workers getting to work. Apparently he's building pallets, sure. <laughs> or maybe that's the flooring. Um, no, it's definitely pallets. Not gonna question their logic. Let's see if this guy has anything to say. So we got the construction manager. Oh, we could maybe hire new workers to make it quicker or something. Let's see, hold on. Let's just see how the construction's going. And he just said, welcome, okay. Let's see, let's see about the new worker thing. So if I want to hire a worker, I could pay $1,000? I mean, I have 24K, sure, why not? Maybe that'll kind of speed up how it's going here. How many guys do we have here? So we got that guy, that guy, and this guy over here. So three. Let's see. What if I just keep hiring people? <laughs> Will it be done in like two days? Okay, went ahead and hired uh, another three guys. So I think that should make some decent progress. Oh yeah, they're already getting to work on the fence apparently. Well, either way, I wanted to show you guys a couple new changes in the game. So there's been a few patches. And if you look over here in the garage, we actually have storage. So no longer do we just have to, you know, kind of toss stuff on the ground and hope for the best. So we have two of these racks. I'm kind of hoping maybe later on you could buy more, but I think this is more than enough. They each hold 25, so I think that should be fine. Also, let me go ahead and grab, I don't know, this dresser, because there also seems to have been some changes to our own house. So now we could actually decorate it. It kind of got rid of everything. Uh, I just put this table and two chairs down for right now. But uh, let's head upstairs and maybe put the dresser up here. Because this also got kind of emptied in this section here. Oh, I think the roofing might not allow it. Yeah, it's a little too close. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, we'll put this as like a little storage room type thing over here. But yeah, that's so nice. You could actually decorate your house if you really want to. So yeah, let me just, you know, put a couple more things. Because they got pretty barren in here. Could definitely use a little bit more decor. Like some plants and lighting. I mean, good thing I got a lot from those uh, storage containers last time. Okay, so it's not a whole lot down here, but at least it's a little bit more lively. Thought I'd turn this into kind of a washer room type thing. So we got that and that there. Feel it makes a little bit more sense and feels slightly more lived in. Either way, it's my favorite day of the week, so we got the auction. We're definitely going to need it if we want to fill up that five or seven bedroom house, essentially. Well, five bedroom, two bathroom, I think. So let's start off with the auction and then we'll go pick up rent after. All right, and let's get started with that auction over here. Um, I just kind of want to see if it's still bugged or you could cheese it. I hope not. I'll only do it once. Okay, so it doesn't work like that anymore. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, I think I'll pretty much just try to win them all and hope for the best. Hopefully you don't get absolutely uh, scammed like last time. I mean, I guess that's the risk of uh, bidding on these things, right? Okay, actually, I might let this one go. This one's going for way too much. $3,000? Yeah. Um, not going to pay that much for this one. I'm okay with, like, maybe mid-2000s, but that's a bit high. And this one's starting off really high, too. $1,400? Jeez, this one's probably going to get to, like, 4000 by the end of it. See, I wasn't kidding. It's already $3,700. i am not going higher than that. Come on. Okay, so we got, what was that, 3 out of 4? Oh my goodness, that was so much. Alright, let's go get our rent and kind of check up on how the house is doing. I think I ended up hiring like five or six extra workers. Also, this nozzle looks wild on this car. It looks like a rocket ship trying to launch. Oh, what the heck's went on over there? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Um. So maybe that patch introduced a couple new bugs. <laughs> Oh my goodness, why is there... There's just furniture everywhere here. What? Um, I don't think I'm going to touch any of that. I'm going to try not to abuse the game. Because uh, if I really wanted to, I could probably just sell that. But let's just leave that there and go get our rent. And hey, it's actually not looking too bad. So they're working their way from the bottom up, clearly. But 17% in one day it makes it sound like it's going to maybe just take five. Maybe the workers are doing something to make it a little bit quicker. Let's hire one more. Oh, he doesn't have any more employees. Okay, so we kind of max that out, apparently. Okay, they're working as hard as they can, so that'll be done when it's done, I guess. And then, oh, what happened here? Okay, so we got a lot of stuff out here, too. 
Oh, I think this guy's um contract expired. I didn't even pay attention to that. Yeah, it says not rented. And then I think our first house is going to end in three days. Okay, so I think we got to get this cleaned up again and re-rent it. Wait. Okay, something's really bugged out, I think, with the, the furniture system. We got like three couches in the ground here. Not going to question it too much. Just going to clean it and try not to abuse the system here. Oh my gosh, it's even worse in the backyard. Oh my gosh, there's like three beds here and like a million of everything okay um yeah i'll just back away from all that i think the house value is still kind of the same i don't think it's actually counting the couches or the table underground because yeah i think if i were to put everything in here the house would probably be worth like twenty thousand. but i'll try not to abuse that so let's just close that and list it for rental again. And I think we'll keep it at the same value of 6,000. I swear, this thing changes every single time. It's kind of nice, though. It's a little bit more updated and modern. Now we have a little mop symbol there showing the dirty value. Let's go ahead and list that and go find a renter. Oh, never mind. It's a little too late and no one's here. Okay. Well, I mean, we got the time, so let's just open up these containers and see how bad we did. They were pretty dang pricey, almost 3,000 some of them. Okay, this one's good. Oh, this one's good, too. Ooh, we got some new items here. We got, like, a telescope there. Okay, that's pretty cool. And, hey, not bad. Okay, um... I mean, still probably overpaid overall. But that's literally just three full ones right there. Okay, I'm not too mad about that. I'm just happy we'll have some stuff to, you know, put in our new mansion when we build it. So let me get that stored away, and we'll try to find a renter tomorrow morning. Okay, and here we go. We got Kevin rented again. So he's gonna rent it for... 15 days, I believe it was. I'm not even sure how long we have left on that contract, if I'm being honest. Let's double check that here. Okay, so that has 17 days, so it's maybe two days without rent. Ah, that's fine. Kind of same thing on the second house. And then I think we might be able to get someone for the first house just to do six days. I've also very slowly but surely been uh, accumulating some Bitcoin, so let's buy some more there. Uh, my cost average is maybe like 656. But man, I should have bought Kiki instead. That thing was at like 500, and now it's doubled to 1,000. So lots of different ways to get money in this game. Also, I think I have enough skill points to get a lawyer. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and lock the loan as well. Although I don't really plan on doing those. I mean, you make pretty good money either way in this game. Let's go to the neighborhood and check out that lawyer. I think you have to hire him for like 500 a week, I think it said. Plus, I have to go collect rent from these two tenants either way. Okay, just got rent from him. And I'm kind of wondering, maybe that lawyer having him unlocked allows them to sometimes not pay. And how's that house doing? 31%. Okay, not bad. And let's go ahead and drive around at least a little. I honestly haven't done too much exploring besides this kind of main street. So there's another house there, and oh gosh, there's uh, more furniture over there. There's so many plants. Oh, there's another lot here. Okay, so they're all 18,900. Oh, apparently I bought that. I didn't really mean to, but sure, why not? And you kind of have the same selection of houses. I mean, we're kind of doing a mansion almost in the other one. Okay, we'll see what we do here. I was kind of thinking, honestly, maybe a cheaper one, like 70 or 80,000. But we'll kind of figure out how that one works out first. All right, what else do we got here? So kind of similar houses. That one actually does not look all that bad. Oh, that's pretty nice. House number 39. Okay, we'll keep an eye out on that one. Got another realtor there. Don't want to do too much renting right now. It's kind of honestly already a lot to kind of go back and forth, rent properties and everything. Let's see what else we got here. So just another house in the corner. Oh, and then here's the lawyer. Okay, because the last time we kind of just took the bus here. Let's go ahead and talk to him and I guess get him hired. Let's see how that works out. Oh, there's no one you can sue. Oh, okay. So I think I'm automatically already paying him 500 a week. And then whenever someone doesn't pay me, I could kind of come to him, I guess. It's kind of hoping to fist fight him, but uh, we'll see what happens okay so quick check-in it's saturday i think the house is like 60 70 percent done and uh bitcoin is rising quite a bit i think i might sell at 1100 and then try to buy back in if it goes down to 500 again that thing just keeps on rising uh kiki did go down to 990 i think it got to like almost 1200 ish didn't quite pay attention but 
Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start selling. Maybe we'll crash the market ourselves. Okay, that was a decent chunk of change. I think we're at 60000 and yeah, that was like maybe $40,000. So, um, pretty good money to be made here, honestly. And heck, let's go ahead and sell our Kiki as well, because I think we also bought that pretty cheap at maybe like $500, $600-ish. So, decent profit there. Apparently, there's leaderboards about how much money you've made. Oh my gosh, some of these people have made $259 million. Jeez, I've only made three hundred twenty-four. dollars and hey, we got Mr. Jolly Roger at a million four hundred thousand. Okay, he's been making a lot of money in this game. He's a super cool guy, so be sure to check out his channel as well. And there's actually quite a lot of people here. Okay. Okay, and here we go. It's Wednesday, 6.45 p.m. Just got a little notification here. Sir, we've completed the construction of the house. Good luck. No problems. Have arisen. See you soon. Bye. Oh my gosh, our house is finally done. House number 20. Let's talk to this guy. Congratulations on your construction. Thanks, man. Okay, let's take a quick look around. I kind of wish there was a nice little pathway, but that's fine. And they built the house dirty. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's the point of the game that you have to, like, clean the properties and stuff. But, um, you know, for a brand new house, I would uh, expect it to be, you know, immaculate, clean. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, my gosh. This thing is absolutely massive, though. Jeez. Oh my gosh, there's like a third floor? Whoa, okay. I severely underestimated um, how big this house was, honestly. I knew it was going to be large, but not that large. Okay, let's get to cleaning, because apparently those construction workers uh, left a mess here. Alright, the house is nice and clean. I kind of thought the average rental value would be a little bit higher, but that's fine. I kind of went ahead and just got some of the basic stuff. So, you know, five beds, some couches. So let me get to some decorating and I'll check with you guys, I guess, in the morning. All right, here we are the next day. And oh my gosh, I severely underestimated how large this house is. And apparently it's dirty again. So it got dirty throughout the night. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got so far. So this was everything from the truck yesterday. 44 items, I believe. Yeah, so kitchen's still pretty empty. I feel like this is actually looking okay. I have no idea to, where to put the laundry area, essentially. But yeah, this area over here is pretty empty. Same thing with the bedroom. I, I need, like, some carpets, other things. But, I mean, it's coming along. I did buy four containers yesterday. So I have another, like, 40 items to bring in. But man, this is absolutely wild. Just the space and to be able to fill it up is kind of insane. I kind of wish there was like a Sims editor type thing where you could go into third person and then just like click stuff in from the truck. I feel like that'd be pretty nice because it does take a while to sort of uh, walk in every single piece. Also, I seem to have bugged out the dirtiness meter. Uh oh. Because, yeah, I honestly thought this house would be worth a lot more, but maybe that's just how the properties are. That you get less per month, but then obviously you're not paying the twenty or 30000 to even kind of lease the property itself, I guess. So I guess in some ways that kind of makes sense. But yeah, I got all this stuff to unload. Lots of safes and other things that I might not put, but uh, I guess they're going to have like a second living room upstairs, maybe. I'm just going to, you know, start putting couches in places. All right, so I spent the rest of yesterday just loading stuff up into the house. Uh, couldn't clean it still, still at like 19% dirtiness or whatever. And I think the value was only from maybe 2800 to 3500 So let's go with like 3300 Let's see. Oh, so we have the option of selling the house as is in total. Or we could just rent it. Okay. So maybe there's a little bit more to it for the actual properties we buy. Either way, let's go ahead and list this one for rent. And yeah, we're losing like 20% value just because it's still kind of dirty. Uh, I don't think we get a little miniature for, for our own house. And we got our first possible tenant here. I'm really curious how long they would want to rent it for. Okay, seven days. Um. Oh, he wants to go low. Heck no. Yeah, I think that dirty factor is going to really, really mess us over. Let's see. Oh, this guy wants to do like a whole month. That's pretty good. And yeah, no one really wants to do the 3,000. Let's see. Let's try 2,800. Oh, you can only give 2,100. Okay. 
So, uh, we might have a little bit of an issue here. Hey, isn't he renting our other house? Okay, but he'll do it apparently at 3,300. So, hey, no problem, man. This guy just has money to spend on houses apparently. But hey, we might not make as much each day. But I think in the long term, it'll still be worth it. Maybe I should have gone with one of those seven day guys. And hopefully the house would have reset and cleaned it. A uh, little too late now. But either way, we had $208,000. So I think we could go ahead and buy more properties. Build them up and kind of furnish them. Hopefully they don't glitch out for like this one. But maybe that'll be patched very soon like everything else has. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.